Have you ever wondered how hackers go from sneaking into a system to taking complete control? Today, we are diving into the world of privilege escalation, a key tactic in cybersecurity breaches. Stick around to learn what it is, how it works, and why it matters to you. So, what is privilege escalation? Imagine you're in a building. You sneak in through a side door with just a guest pass. That's basic access. But then, you find a way to swipe the CEO's keycard and suddenly, you're in charge of the whole place. In tech terms, privilege escalation is when an attacker, or even a regular user gains higher permissions than they're supposed to have on a system. There are two main types. First, horizontal privilege escalation. This is like borrowing your friend's login to access their stuff, same level, different account. Then there's vertical privilege escalation, where you climb the ladder from a basic user to, say, an admin with full control. Vertical is the big prize for attackers. How does it happen? Well, attackers exploit weaknesses. Maybe there's a buggy app that lets them run sneaky commands. Or a misconfigured system leaves sensitive files wide open. Sometimes, they trick users into giving up passwords, think phishing emails, or use malware to steal credentials. Once they're in, they might tweak settings or inject code to boost their access. Let's look at an example. In Windows, an attacker might exploit a vulnerability in a program running with admin rights. They could use a tool to bypass security and run commands as the system itself. Boom! Total control. This is why updates and patches are so critical. They fix those gaps before hackers can climb through. Why does this matter? Privilege escalation is often the turning point in a cyber attack. Getting in is step one, but escalating privileges lets attackers steal data, install ransomware, or even shut down entire networks. Think of it like a castle. A small crack in the wall doesn't matter much until the invader uses it to unlock the king's throne room. So, how do we stop it? First, keep software updated. Those patches aren't optional. Second, use the principle of least privilege. Don't give users more access than they need. Third, monitor systems for weird behavior, like a random account trying to access admin tools. And finally, Strong passwords and multi-factor authentication. They're your first line of defense. Privilege escalation might sound technical, but it's really about one thing, power. Attackers want it, and we need to protect it. Whether you're a casual user or a tech pro, understanding this concept keeps you one step ahead. Got questions? Drop them below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. If you like this dive into privilege escalation, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more cybersecurity breakdowns. Stay safe out there. See you next time.